Hey guys, Miko here, and I got a phenomenal ukulele to share with you folks today. This is a tenor size custom hive instrument by Luthier, uh, Jake McClay, and man, I was playing, you know, fooling around with this ukulele earlier, tuning it up and just playing it, and I've really fallen in love with this instrument, and I think whoever has the wonderful opportunity to go ahead and have this, man, ugh, you're going to love it just as much as I fell in love with it. So this has beautiful Adirondack spruce top wood on the top, and I just love with spruce, you can get, go in so many different directions in terms of it being real plain, in terms of like, like you know, it's just a plain piece of white wood. You might have the really nice quarter saw, but just plain, like real white and kind of just like nothing going on. And then you have something like this where you have so much character, so much uniqueness. Right here in the middle, you can see the darker streaks of the spruce and the grain right here. And you can even see some streaks right here and then some lighter streaks right here. So it gives it some character. It gives it a little more of something going on versus it just being more of just a white or yellow piece of wood. So this is really beautiful. And I would, when I look at it in the light, the cortisone, that, 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 that hazy or that foggy kind of texture that you can see in a really nice piece of spruce as I look in it, it's really awesome. I, I love it. Especially when I look from look at it from afar, it's just so beautiful and it's really awesome. And then here on the sides, this probably might be some of the nicest myrtle I've, I've really ever seen on an inch on an ukulele or a custom ukulele it's just so beautiful i mean almost looks like coal but oh my gosh just yeah look look at how much is going on in the back too all the spots the black spots and then the curve the thick curls here on the top all the different colors of the myrtle it's just really really beautiful and then again here on the sides absolutely beautiful and then you have nice wenge binding wood here on the top and the back and even on the block of or the heat the tail block of the instrument right here with a nice strap button custom strap button with a gold ring around it and it seems like a mother of pearl dot right here we also have the same pattern here on the pin bridge where the strings will you know you tie a knot through and you pull it and then you put the print the pin bridge here you can see it on all the four buttons on the bottom very exceptionally beautiful you along along with the sound too i'll get to that in a moment but just this is a real beauty of a uke i just absolutely love it um right here around the rosette you have a beautiful brown piece of myrtle wood as well around the rosette accents really nicely on that kind of whiter spruce top again with that nice um streaks in the spruce uh, we have ebony bridge ebony fretboard and an ebony headstock along with the ebony black back head plate on the back and then around the perimeter around the binding with the ukulele you have a nice wood purfling here kind of blends in nicely with the spruce top and then more noticeably here around the wenge wood on the binding and then even here around the back of the instrument Really nice gloss neck, mahogany neck. And then we have Waverly Gold and Black Button Tuner. Some of the best, very best tuners that you can go ahead and put on your instrument. Um, super easy to use, very classy, very um, just awesome tuners to use on your instruments. Um, yeah, you can actually even have, you can see the wood purfling that's, that's around the instrument here on the sides as like the perimeter of the fretboard right here. And then something unique that um, High Bukaleles does is that even on the sides here, the fret dots or the fret markers on the side as well as on the fretboard, it's almost like a black dot with a mother of pearl ring around it. So it has a nice kind of rustic kind of look, or more of a me mechanical kind of look. So it looks really, I think it looks pretty sick, honestly. And you can still see it, even though it's a black dot, that 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 white or the the pearl, and it still sticks out so you can go ahead and still see it with your eyes even on the sides as well so real nice unique touch but i gotta get in or i gotta discuss elephant and Roman. this this sound of this i mean my gosh this thing is so warm it's like oh there's so much tone in this instrument it's just so warm Feels like I just took a shower. I'm clean. Like that's just it. it, it it's just so. I mean, listen. Listen how sweet. 
This is a bar chord. This is not even an open chord. This is a bar chord on the 7th, 9th, and 10th. 7th, 8th, 10th fret. Like, what is that? Like, what? That is insane. So, I'm a lost at words. The vibrato, the sustain, the warmth, how it sounds in my ears. <laughs> and then yeah, the sustain just goes on for seconds. And then listen to the, the overtones of this. This G note is going to activate this G string. It's going to activate some of the other strings without me even have me touching the other strings. Right here. One more time. As soon as I touch the G string. That is a cr crazy. This is a monster you in, 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 the, in the most positive way possible. This this thing is is, is. I am really blown away by this ukulele in particular, but just Jake's work. I mean, you look at this instrument, the the, the craftsmanship, um it's it's just absolutely beautiful. It's perfect. There's just it's so clean. I mean, I'm just looking at every little part of this instrument. It's absolutely beautiful instrument. It's a nice side part over here too. All you need to know is that this this sounds really good. Oh my gosh. It's so sweet. Oh my gosh. So this, this instrument is a perfect example of when you play just uh, an instrument of this caliber, um, for me as a musician, as, as a player, um, depending on the instrument I play, it'll force me, or maybe not, you can kind of, you know, I guess ignore like what how the instrument's responding to your playing style or what it may be. But like, for me, I'm a very slow and very, I guess, kind of an emotional player. I really feel my music. I, I, I just kind of go with the ebb and flow of, of my music playing or my songs. Um, when you have an instrument that sounds and it gives you this kind of tone, it just, for me, I try to play to the instrument versus the instrument trying to adapt to like me, my playing style. Um, I have the power to go ahead and adapt and try to change my playing style that really fits this instrument's tone and the sound and the quality of the, again, of the tone that's coming out of the instrument. And because this instrument has so much sustain, so much warmth, it forces me to listen and really appreciate and sit on the notes just a little longer, even a second longer. So when I play an instrument that has this much resonance, I feel like if I were to switch to my next notes too quickly, it's almost like I'm cutting it off. Like it's trying to speak to me, but I just I just keep cutting off. Like, hey, this is what I, hey, this is what I want to, hey, this is what I want to, you know, versus, hey, this is what I want to say. Now I can go ahead and change chords. And then now I can go ahead and change chords. So it's just this beautiful, just quality. So hopefully when I do my sound sample, you'll, tr you'll kind of understand what I'm trying to say with. It just makes me want to hold my notes before I switch or transition to the next note. Just a little longer because the instrument gives me all of that tone. I really want to take advantage of what the instrument's trying to provide for me. So, so here we go. Oh my gosh. Shake out all the tone before I start playing. <laughs> all right.
again with this instrument when you hold a chord like this uh, E I was G major 7 again just so much sweetness you can just go ahead and really milk it <laughs> what a what a monster yeah I'm lost for words <laughs> alright here we go some strumming <laughs> 